Thank you so much for watching Tomohita Music.、Uh, thank you, and I, 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 I'm happy to hear that you guys are enjoying my song analysis. And that has been great, and I love to do more songs. But right now, I think it's nice to check how much you know about the music theory, also,、uh, foundation. Foundation means not just easy stuff, it's important.、Um, Materials that you want to go through. For example, if you go to Berkeley and first semester you have harmony, ear training three times a week. The reason is that way you just have a lot of homework every you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You just can't miss it. you know So that's the first semester, second semester. So like we have harmony one, harmony two, harmony three, four. And then ear training one, two, three, four, and advanced ear training. <clears throat> and so, so overall,、um, you know, music theory, we're talking about understanding harmony, music, harmony, and ear training both together. And the first important part is <clears throat> you want to know the triads. Triads, like if you play anything like. That's all triads. And how about this way?、Um, this, this lesson, <clears throat> I'm not getting into detail of a triads, but at least like a simple one. <clears throat> For example, the first one you want to do, <clears throat> you know, what type of triads? Okay, so this is ear training. What type? One is major. <clears throat> Anyone you want to play? That's major. <coughs> so, major triad has a root, major third, fifth. So, first you have to understand root, third, fifth. Next one, it's minor. So, minor third in the fifth. So, you can hear major third, do mi so. Now, If you lower the fifth, so now we have root flat three, flat five. That's diminished, okay? So understand diminished is not like、um, memorize、uh, diminished. First, you understand <coughs> major and minor and diminished. So you can do here minor. Excuse me, excuse me a little bit, my voice, because <clears throat> Boston has so much, so much allergy now, you know, so really hard. Coffee helps sometimes. So now, here, <coughs> here, now, here, the augmented. So now, first one, you want to know, okay, major, minor, diminished, augmented, okay? So, If you wanna you write it down, do you understand that or not? Because that's really basic, s okay? Minor, major, minor, and diminish, e d and augmented. Augmented has a sharp five. So, and then two more types if you wanna know. You know, pop music we use it. So, this is like a regular major, but this one, sus two. Suspended two. <clears throat> Then, like you. <coughs> That's like, you know, sus four, sus two. So, it's not too hard. Sus two is major second instead of major third. Sus4, perfect fourth instead of fifth, right? I mean, third. 
And then C major scale. Like you have a C major scale. And then there is a chord with it. So Roman numeral, like a C major. And then if you spell, you know, root third fifth, next one, D minor. So this is called two minor and th three, three minor. Roman numeral, like, you know, kind of small letter. And a four, major, major, five, and then six minor. And the seven, it's diminished. But pop music, we, we don't really use so much uh, diminished. So right now, almost you don't want to pay attention to, you know, seven diminished. You, you want to really understand two groups, it's major, one, four, five, just like blues, like, right? Like, almost like... And so this is key of G. So now G major one A minor two minor B minor three. So like you know do re mi you know do re mi and then four five and the six minor. So all you have to do is really understand one four five two minor three minor. 6 minor. And then when you play a song, kind of think about what type of number that you follow. And best way to do is really like, you know, Rolling Stones, Beatles, any like, you know, all the good music. You listen to it and figure it out. But then again, sometimes these tune use non-diatonic chords, not to belong to basic major scale. So that, it's a little bit tricky. But that's, you know, it's almost like a sense. It just sounds good. That's why people use, you know. And also rock music, a lot of minor key. And this is a, a difficult because first you have to learn major key and then you go to minor key. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> that's why some of the rock stuff right away kind of mixing some part is major, some part is uh, minor. So it already, it's a little bit confusing. So sometimes I recommend, you know, play by feel, understand by feel. Then sometimes you sit down, really look at the notes or uh, uh, understand this theory to figure it out about the chord progression. So maybe we can do something like key of C, C, right? And then a lot of song goes five something. All right. So G is a five. And then let's go six minor. So right here, it's almost like you go to minor key. Sounds like. And then maybe a little bit more, you know, sad sounding minor. So like E minor, three minor. Nice. And then maybe give you a little energy with a four chord, which is F. Lift up a little bit, and then settle in, see? And then you wanna stand up with G, which is five. 
So key is a C. So when you listen to music, like when I listen to music, for example, when I teach a uh, private lesson at the Berkeley or even Skype, uh, good good example, I always say, oh, so, so, okay, what, what's what's the problem? What would you like to do? And often people said, I love to play like such and such, but I have no idea about the chords. Maybe I can find a little bit, but not the, entirely. And then I say, which track? And usually students send me a link. I listen to the link. Right away, I figure out the chords. And a lot of people, you know, smile, say, how you know it? Well, music is very simple. I mean, you know, uh, simple means simple tune, not, not a really, really sophisticated, you know, uh, complicated song. Do you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> but everything kind of falls into major scale and there's a minor chord there's a major chord of course you know we can talk about seventh chord soon but i think first one this is all just major minor triads you know i think that's that's to me it sounds great you know so yeah so this case key of c one g is a five so that's the sounds of a five <coughs> then A minor, just kind of sad sounding, six minor, and then E minor, kind of wandering, just kind of sound, very nice. Then F has a little bit more, like you know, um, uh, passion, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, encouragement, and back to this. G always want to go a little bit more somewhere. Okay, then so so now so you learn song, you figure it out about the chord changes by numbers with Roman numeral, like you know everybody does. So that's why we go one four five, one six two five, and all that. <clears throat> okay, and you you learn a few tunes and you analyze it. Okay, so now, so now, if you play G, key of G. So G is one, and then D is a five. So, you know, you have to used to it. Do, re, mi, fa, so. That's the five. So, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la. Something like that. <clears throat> so here, right? So. I saw like a, this is called relative minor. It's almost like to me, one moment sounds like a you know minor key, but really six minor. Unless you start from here. So like G, you go five, and then you have to understand six minor, which is E minor. A lot of great song has a key of G, and then four. Okay, same thing. G, 
see you again. Nice, you know. song has a similarity similarity of <clears throat> sounds good so I heard if you in a Nashville songwriting team sometimes they have requirement to use exactly what number of chord progression because that's popular one like um, a lot of Japanese pop music they always use same um, similar patterns you know yeah so interesting interesting yeah uh japanese pop music always has like <laughs> so like uh, they have a so Always a three is a seven, because a three is a seven, like a Georgia on my mind, all of me. A lot of song has that, you know, um, dominant into six minor. So again, number system. Like see, like <laughs> I wish I can sing. So yeah, that was a little bit um, uh, <clears throat> just a side attract, but um, you see, like you know, uh, Japanese pop music, like I told you, like it always has a three seven and always a little bit of uh, unnecessary two fives in it, so that makes it a little jazzier, and and I understand because 1970s. Um, obviously a lot of Japanese music really based on American pop music and then a uh, songwriter or a writer write a song and always somehow arranger arranges a song and those arranger or pianist who play jazz so obviously they like to use their knowledge about the jazz a lot of seventh chords that's why Japanese pop music a lot of has a seventh chord or diminished and all that chords you know almost a jazz and same as um uh, I hope I'm not talking too much uh, same has a um, neo soul a lot of people ask me how oh, can I show you uh, show me neo soul neo soul is really to me it's like R&B and meets a little bit jazz so if you know jazz standards and if you know Motown and 60s R&B, you know, Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway, uh, Earth, End and Fire, and those has so many, so many great core changes. So basically, 
once you understand diatonic major scale uh, simple 1, 4, 5, 2 minor, 3 minor, 6 minor, that's all. Then after that, go into minor key and a little bit 7th chord and learn jazz. Just because jazz has nice, nice beautiful chord changes and so, especially bossa nova music has nice substitution, sub 5 and stuff. So if you learn tunes, tune teaches you how to learn or analyze song and that knowledge gives you so much to understand other songs. So basically, I just didn't have any technique, knowledge, nothing. But I went to Berkeley, I studied jazz, I studied jazz guitar lesson. So here and there, I learned about the theory. So major scale, minor scale, and diatonic uh, triads, seventh chord, you know, so forth. And so that made, made me like a versatile musician. Sometimes people argue with, Oh, I want to write great song. I don't want to influence by people, so I don't want to learn songs. Or somebody says, I don't want to be so mathematic because just like you know, if you learn theory, too much information. Well, more information you learn, you just don't use them if you don't like it or if you don't feel like it. But more information you have, I think that's nice asset, you know, and. I really believe more information you have, I think makes you strong person and strong musician. I think uh, finish that way because this can go on and on, you know, more and more and very important. And thank you so much for watching Tomofushi the Music and more detailed lessons if you're interested in, you can join my Guitar Wisdom. Also, I really appreciate your support. Guitar Wisdom really helped to run this uh, YouTube channel also uh, and of course you can subscribe to most of the music and share this with your friends all right so let's keep going about song analysis and theory okay see you soon thank you